So very briefly, we're going to talk about polygons, okay? So we're still preparing ourselves for geometry. We're looking at the important language and all these uh, videos uh, you can find nicely organized on my site, explainingmaths.com. But now polygons, what are polygons? Now, polygons, first of all, we're talking about two-dimensional, so flat uh, figures. And what does it mean? Well, polygons, it's, it's from the Greek, guys. It's like, uh, I think it's, you spell it like this, polis, uh -huh. polis, and gones. Okay, and now perhaps my, my, my Greek teacher from many years ago is, is screaming out loud, which is completely wrong. But polus gonus means like many, and gonus is like uh, angles, okay? So, many angles. So any flat figure with many angles, which is, yeah, more than two, okay? So three or more, yeah? So that is a polygon. And this, if I only have two lines, yeah, that's not a polygon because it needs to be a complete figure, okay? So it has at least three angles, a polygon, okay? All the lines connecting those angles are straight, okay? A polygon, uh, gones, like diagonal, okay? Dia, which means like through, gones, through two angles, eh? a diagonal. So gones means like angle, polus means many, so many angles, two-dimensional. And I just wrote a few down, which uh, you need to know, and it all comes from our big friends, uh, the ancient Greeks, uh, like a triangle, tri means three, yeah? so it's a three-sided polygon, yeah? uh, like a tripod, you know that? A tripod also has like three stands, yeah? I believe, uh, in science. So you need to know a triangle, three-sided polygon. A quadrilateral, quad means four, like a quad bike, a four-sided polygon. Penta, yeah? so quad is four. Pentagon, okay, that's a five-sided polygon, yeah, pentagram. Hexagon, a six-sided figure. Heptagon, a seven-sided figure, yeah? and all of this just means three, four, five, six, seven in ancient Greek. Octagon, yeah, like an octopus. An eight, like an octave, uh, when you're playing the piano, or another musical instrument. An eight-sided figure. A decagon, ten-sided. And a dodecagon is a twelve-sided figure. And I think I forgot one, I'm not sure why, but you should also know a nonagon, yeah, which is a nine-sided figure. Good. So polygons, you need to be aware of these polygons, yeah? So if somebody talks about a heptagon, you need to know, oh, that's a seven-sided figure. Now, um, let's look at a pentagon. Just one example, yeah, and then um, we'll go on to the next video. A pentagon. Now, a pentagon has five sides, okay? So that could be one, two, three, four, and then I connect this one, five, yeah? So this is a pentagon, one, two, three, four, five. It's a five-sided polygon, yeah, where all the lines are straight. Now, this one, one, um, two, three, it's only a sketch, four, five, six, what would we call that? That is what we would call a hexagon, because it has six sides. But what type of hexagon is this? We call that a regular hexagon. And why is that? Because a regular hexagon, and again, this is only a sketch, but when, it's, when a polygon is regular, that means that all the sides are equal in length, and all the angles are equal in size, okay? Then we have to use the word regular, hexagon, yeah? But if we're just talking about a hexagon, that could be any six-sided figure and does not necessarily have to look like that. Okay, so I've spoken now about different types of angles, different types of triangles, I've spoken about different types of quadrilaterals, about similarity, congruence, um, talking about uh, the, the language involved with circles, and now we have looked at polygons. And all that vocabulary is essential for you to understand. It's essential for you um, yeah, to, be, uh, to be able to work with in order to be successful in geometry, okay? So I hope that was useful. Um, we're gonna do some construction now uh, for the next videos. Um, check my site, explainingmaths.com for all the resources for free, and you can also ask me your question there. I'll see you later.